Six months ago, we heard that TSM was pulling their League of Legends team out of the LCS and moving it to another tier one region. We've heard basically nothing about that since though. And with the season now over and a new one right around the corner, everyone is asking, where the hell are TSM? Thanks to our friends over at ROG for sponsoring this video. Here's Dimitri to tell you more about their Black Friday sale. All right, so before we get into the video, just a quick heads up that this year, our friends over at ROG are having a banger Black Friday sale only on Amazon. We actually partnered with ROG for an upcoming crack so that you have to check out. Colton and I got to build a tricked out PC to test out ROG's brand new state of the art 540 Hertz monitor. Now that thing is a monster, but let me tell you, ROG's 300 Hertz Strix XG27 AQMR is also very beastly. So if you're in the market for a gorgeous top of the line 1440p display with a fast response IPS panel that produces eye-wateringly vibrant colors, make sure you head over to Amazon to check out this exclusive 15% off Black Friday sale. It is a sick monitor for an even sicker price. So be sure to check it out. Now back to the video. Okay then, so do you remember this from back in May? We have made the tough decision to start the process of transitioning to another tier one region. This may feel sudden, but to be honest, we've been actively working towards this for the last three years. I believe moving to another region will reignite our hunger to doing whatever it takes to win a world championship. That was TSM CEO Reggie announcing that their League of Legends team would be leaving the LCS and moving to a different tier one region. Or if you have been following North America's international track record, an actual tier one region. I'm kidding, I'm just kidding. That announcement came years after sliding results for TSM's league team, a once totally dominant force in North America that began struggling to qualify for Worlds and then spectacularly bombed out in 2020 when they finally did. Life for a moment in sort of the ulti channel there. Flash engage for Broken Blade, they want in. Life's gonna save one. Will it be enough though? Ornhorn comes out, will not find the knockup. An ulti backwards now for Broken Blade. Five on five still happening. Rascal gets hooked in. Stone Plate will time out. Can TSM find the first kill? Speaker's Speak gonna on. get in. That is a five man sweep. If TSM can't win this, what will they? Add to that the financial concerns. Now, some of this was shared by all esports orgs. It's no secret that the industry has had quite a rocky return to reality after a decade of inflated evaluation, absurd operational costs, and eye-watering player salaries. And specifically for TSM, in 2022, they suspended their $210 million naming rights deal with FTX after the crypto marketplace filed for bankruptcy amidst allegations of misuse of customer deposits and an investigation by the US Justice Department. There were rumors that TSM were planning to pull out of a number of their traditional esports scenes. For a lot of fans though, it didn't feel like TSM were dropping their league team because Reggie had clearly stated the team was simply moving to a different region. This sentiment was also evident on September 30th of this year, the day of their last LCS game, where TSM thanked their fans around the world and the LCS for the memories. They also said their journey towards championships had not ended. And so TSM fans have waited with bated breath for an announcement, any announcement at all about when and where their league team will return. But so far, there's been nothing. Some fans have been hoping that Reggie will do what he's done in the past at times and emerge in a random TSM thread on Reddit to shed some light on the org's plans. Earlier this week, there was hope that the end of Worlds and the opening of the player signing period would herald an announcement about the future. But in the absence of official news, fans have been left speculating among themselves. First off, what region are they moving to? Well, there have been rumors circulating for quite a while now. Back in July 2022, Dexerta reported that TSM had made inquiries at the time about acquiring the recently sold Misfits franchise slot in the LEC. In May this year, reporter Jacob Wolf revealed he'd heard TSM had been talking to LPL orgs as far back as November 2022. The truth is, we don't know. It could be Europe, China, or South Korea. So for the moment, perhaps a better question to ask is, 
what would TSM in any of those leagues actually look like? Spots in tier one regions don't grow on trees. Teams aren't that willing to give them up. And they also come with tier one price tags to match. So one prevailing theory is that TSM has approached an existing European, South Korean or Chinese team for a partnership. They might not be actively involved in the day-to-day esports operations of that team, but the team would carry the TSM branding, partially or in full. The appeal for the host team is quite clear. They become the focus of TSM's global fan base and be able to benefit from the monetization of that. They'd receive a lump sum when signing the deal and can consistent financial backing thereafter. They'd likely be mostly autonomous too, although to what degree would depend on the nature of the deal. In return, firstly, TSM would have their brand present in a major region where viewership is either growing, stable, or at the very least decreasing more slowly than in the LCS. Also, TSM have said all along that their reason for doing this is that they want to win championships. They want to make this move and then eventually go on and win worlds. How likely is this? Well, some of you guys might be laughing right now and thinking they have absolutely no chance, but at first glance, it kind of has to be more likely than if they just stayed in the LCS. We could sit here and debate the reasons for that all day, but the bottom line is no. No LCS team has even got a sniff of the Summoner's Cup in the past decade. And yes, I'm including the 2018 Cloud9 team there. But moving to a top region is no guarantee of success either. Presuming TSM partners up with a mid-table team in one of those regions, I can't see them going toe-to-toe -to -toe in their first year with the likes of JDG, with T1, Genji, G2. I just can't. It may even take a couple of seasons for TSM to even qualify for Worlds in one of those regions. And what if they can't even do that? If TSM ends up languishing as a middle of the pack team in the LPL among 16 others, all but forgotten by their Western fans and struggling to make playoffs, would it even have been worth it for them or their fans? Of course, it may also go amazingly. Maybe they qualify for Worlds at the first time of asking and get to quarterfinals. Maybe they keep the bulk of their North American fans and open up a whole new market in the process. Maybe, but this is all speculation and wishful thinking at the moment. And that's all TSM fans have to go on in the absence of actual announcements and plans. The path ahead may be uncertain for them, but there is a feeling among TSM fans that whatever the future holds, the decision to leave the LCS was the right one. Recently, the LCS announced they'd be downsizing from 10 to 8 teams for next season, with Golden Guardians and Evil Geniuses departing from the league. For some LCS fans, this has confirmed their suspicions that the league is in a downward spiral, that its profitability, its stability and sustainability are in deep jeopardy. Now, there was a time about a decade ago where the LCS did in fact have 8 teams before expanding to 10, but that won't calm the nerves of many LCS fans. The story of esports so far has been one of growth, where people are accustomed to seeing their product get bigger and better every year, not return to where they started. And for investors, will they want to pump money into a league that has the potential to shrink even further? Remember, TSM reportedly sold their LCS spot to Shopify Rebellion this year for $10 million. Compare that to the $30 million plus paid by Evil Geniuses to Echo Fox for their slot less than four years earlier, and you can see see why there might be some concerns that the value of an LCS slot may not appreciate from here. Riot have said the move from 10 to 8 teams in the LCS will allow them to be more flexible, whatever that means, but will it halt the trend of consistent viewership decline over the past three years? Amidst all these questions, TSM fans are starting to see their org's decision to leave the LCS as jumping ship before it's too late. At the time, TSM were met with derision by some in the LCS community who felt like the org was abandoning the league that made them what they are. And now some TSM fans see the recent LCS downsizing as borderline vindication of the org's decision to leave. But that vindication is pretty much all they have. And even that is contingent on TSM's plans to join a different region actually going ahead. It's not easy to simply shuffle over to a new region in League of Legends, even if it's a partnership deal. And TSM may have already hit a few hurdles since their bold announcement in May. Perhaps it's more expensive than Reggie first imagined. Perhaps they're not sure if they'll be able to qualify for and especially win worlds in a new region. Perhaps it's bigger than their league team and simply doesn't make financial or marketing sense for the org as a whole. But we don't know. The fans don't know. They haven't known anything for half a year now. Only
Only TSM and Reggie knows what the future of their league team looks like at this point. And the longer their silence, the louder the question, where the hell are TSM? I think whatever happens from here on in with TSM is going to be an insane story. Like if they actually go to a new region and they do amazingly, you know, they qualify for Worlds, they do really well at Worlds, maybe they even win it in five years. That would be such an insane story. And if they crash and burn, that's going to be a hell of a story too, you know? I think everyone just kind of wants to see which way it's going to go. Um, I don't know. I don't know at this point.